Hey everybody, Dave here from Wags Automotive. Anybody like the 1920s and 1930s cars? Check it out. 1930 Cadillac Series 452 V16 Roadster. Look at this car. This is just amazing. Incredible. Wow. All right, let's look at the tag on it. There we go. Restoration is older one, imported to France huh. in 1988. Look at that. Driver, let's see what, pivoting driving lights. Driver and passenger side search lights right here. There you go. Passenger search lights. Look at this car. Wow. Holy smokes. This car is so big I can't even get it in my camera. Gigantic. Kind of back up here so you guys can see it. Wow. All right, we'll get the interior here in a second. Got the rumble seat back there. Look at that, guys. Wow, check that out. Holy smokes. That is beautiful. Aluminum, aluminum gas pedal down there. Turn dash. Got spare tire right there. Wow, that's beautiful. All right, what do we got next? 1934 Packard 1108-12 Dietrich in individual custom convertible sedan, one of 12 known to exist. Wow, look at that. Man, look at the paint job on that thing. Holy smokes. The only open convertible sedan body style offered by Dietrich in 1934. One of 12. Wow. Original sheet metal. Huh. Original fenders have never been off and retain the original welting. 446, 160 horsepower, V12 engine, three-speed selective single mesh transmission. 147-inch <laughs> wheelbase. I'd like to know what this thing weighs. My gosh, look at the back seat on this thing. Look at that. You could freaking take a nap back there. Oh my gosh, look at that interior. Look at that, guys. Isn't that beautiful? Wow, and that is, that's real wood. That's not the plastic crap you see today. Look, it goes all the way around. Even in the middle there, all wood. That is beautiful, all right. It's got the suicide doors in the front and the regular doors in the back. Let's back up here so we can take a better look at it. There we go. Holy smokes, wow. Look at that interior, man. That speaks luxury. Pretty fancy for the 1930s, huh? There's that interior again. Look at that dash. That is just amazing. It's got the aluminum gas pedal too. Manual transmission. Got the spare tire, but it's got a cover on it. Whew. My gosh, this car is beautiful. All right, what do we got next? 1929 Duesenberg. Model J, the Grand Blind Quarter Brougham. Number one certified original car. Wow, look at that. Holy smokes. Spare tires on the driver's side on it. It's got a two-tone paint job. Look at that. The roof line on this, that's kind of cool. It's got like a vinyl top on it. Let's see what the tag on it says, it's sideways. Uh, originally, Lycoming inline eight cylinder engine. Original Lycoming eight cylinder engine. Original three speed transmission. Original 142 inch wheelbase chassis. Original firewall. Huh. I'll be. Man, look at that. I'm not gonna read all that, but you guys can read it. Look at the paint job on this thing. Holy smokes, man, that is just gorgeous. Wow. 
Well, let's get the interior. Sorry, I forgot about that almost. Very nice. Turn around here so you guys can see that. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful interior. Aluminum turn dash and all that woodwork. Look at all that wood in there. Around the doors and around the rear windows. Man, that's a very... This was probably the pinnacle of luxury back in the day. I'm not sure what those three buttons on the horn are or on the steering wheel. That's interesting. And look, you can open the windows up. Them cranks open the front windows up so you can get some air flowing through here. It's got the luggage trunk in the back, of course. So you can go on vacation. Duesenberg 8, it says. Very nice. The rear lights are clear. That's kind of weird. It's got the wire wheels on it. Man, this thing is just amazing. There we go. There's a better look at the dash. You guys can see that. That beautiful woodworking interior. Gorgeous. Oh, it's got this thing's got two spare tires. I guess you can have two flats and get away with it. All right, trying to get through here with all these people. Kind of close here, but we'll get through. All right, we'll walk up this way. Look at all the chrome. Look at all the chrome on the front end of this thing. Can you imagine that sitting in your garage? Ooh, excuse me. Man, that is gorgeous. All right. What do we got next? 1935 Auburn Boat Tail Speedster. Supercharged Lycoming 280 CI Straight 8 3 Speed. Huh. Wow. That is very cool. Got the flying lady hood ornament on it. Supercharged. Look at the exhaust coming out the side there. Isn't that cool? That's actual exhaust right there, guys. And here's the sheet on it. I'm not going to read all that, but you guys can read that. This car may have been a demonstrator. I see that. Nice. Centrifugal supercharger. Very cool. And it also has the spotlight on it here. And suicide doors, as you can see. And then beautiful wire wheels. Look at those fenders. They look like a torpedo. <laughs> and here's the interior on this one. Look at that. Wow. It says zero on the odometer and 61, 61 odometer, zero on the trip odometer. And there's something there. I can't read what it says. You guys can read that. There's a catalog of stuff they did to it. Beautiful car. Just gorgeous. All right. Walk around to the back side of it. Yeah, man, I'm assuming that's Minnesota. There we go. Car club he was in. Look at the back of this thing. That's why they call it a boat tail. See that? Looks like a boat in the back. Looks like an upside down boat. Very cool. Very cool car. You don't see these old ones very much. Man, these are beautiful. There's another view of the inside. And there's that plaque again. And the dash, door panels, it's like really nice leather there, supercharged, very cool car. All right, we got one more here. What's this one? All right, we got a 37 Cord, oh, supercharged sportsman convertible coupe, supercharged 289 V8, first prize at Forest Grove Conquers there it says cord wow look at that it's kind of kind of a squared off front end on it eh look at those wheels they almost look like Oldsmobile Tornado wheels huh it's got the exhaust coming out the outside again and there's the tag on it we can read that one of only 64 supercharged convertibles coupes produced art deco design man that's gorgeous 170 horsepower L head V8 engine. Cummins pull through supercharger Bendix four speed. <laughs> four wheel hydraulic drum brakes. Boy, front wheel drive. What? This thing's front wheel drive, guys. <laughs> Check that out. 
Look at that. Man. That is beautiful. There's your... I'll show them to you on the other side. Just look at it. Look at, well, I'll show it to you on the other side. There's your uh, headlamp switch down there. I'm not sure what it says. I'm not going to get down there too close. I don't want to mess with it. That's beautiful. All right, let's go around the other side so we can look at this stuff I couldn't show you very well. And there's a back view of it. It's so big I can hardly get it in my camera here. Look at that. Beautiful. All right. There's your transmission selector, and there's some other selectors there. Wow. Look, you got a glove box there, tiny one. Aluminum gas pedal in this one too. Really nice interior on it. Beautiful. All right. That's a few of the oldies but goodies for you. Talk to you later.